Welcome to the main event. Shepard. Y'all ready for this? He's in you. I believe, I believe. I believe, I believe. He's in you. I believe, I believe. I believe, I believe. I believe in you. I believe, I believe. Hey. I believe, I believe in you. Children's TV. We're so happy that you're with us today. Yes, we're going to be having loads of fun together. We're going to be checking out Grandma and Dusty. We're going to be having crafts with Jackie. And we are going to be uh, looking at the last week in our topic on Acts 2.42. Do you remember what it says? It says they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, which we looked at last week, communion, and to prayer. But for now, we're going to get ready to worship God, aren't we? Yes, we are. So get up on your feet. You're going to need some space as we worship this morning. We can use our whole bodies to praise Jesus. So let's go for it. Enough, I can rock enough, can hop around the room enough, I can sing enough, can shout enough to show you how much I love you. So I'll fall down on my knees and lift my hands in praise and whisper, Lord, I love you, I love you, Lord, today. I fall down on my knees and lift Whisper, Lord, I love you, I love you, Lord, today. Enough, I can rock enough, can hop around the room enough, I can sing enough, can shout enough to show you how much I love you. So I'll fall down on my knees and lift my hands in praise and whisper, Lord, I love you, I love you, Lord, today. I fall down on my knees and lift my hands. I can run enough, I can wave enough, can bounce around the room enough, I can dance enough, can groove enough to show you how much I love you. I can freeze enough, I can rock enough, can hop around the room enough, I can sing enough, can shout enough to show you how much. 
got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got. Joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got. Peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got love like an ocean, I've got. Joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got love like an ocean. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. That was great work, Shaggy. You guys did that. Well done. This week we are wrapping up our series looking at the early church. Let's remind ourselves of what we've looked at so far. What is the church? When people think about church, they often think about buildings. It's not a building, it is the people. And he kind of stopped and looked at me for a second. He's like, Douglas, this isn't God's house. You are. And when he said that, it broke my little brain. Cause no, Pip, you've got to move your mouth. When we learn new things, it makes us feel happy. It makes us motivated. Can you remember the time that you learned how to read a new word? Or maybe you learned your times tables and you were super proud. Well, do you know what? Learning is so, so important. It helps us to grow. It helps us to become wiser. It helps us to understand the world better. But most of all, it helps us understand ourselves and our relationship with God. It says let us think about each other and help each other to show love and to do good deeds. You and your best friend have a relationship. And when you're in a relationship with somebody, you want to tell them things. And you want to listen to the things that they'll tell you. It's the same thing with God. You can have a relationship with him too. You matter so much to God. And he wants to hear about all the things. And he has lots of things that he wants to tell you. And that is why we pray. I mean, why is it that you see on virtual church Apostle Ian holding up some bread and maybe Mama Rachel holding up a cup of juice? Jesus took some bread and blessed it. He said, take it, for this is my body, which is given for you. Jesus told them to do this to help remember him. So there we go, there were the four things that the early church devoted themselves to. Now, what does it mean to be devoted? Devoted means to love something, it means to put all your energy into it, it means to really care about it. Maybe you're devoted to your pet, maybe you're devoted to your family, maybe you're devoted to your video games, or your friends, but it's really important that we love our 
church. Our church is God's gift to us. And so this week and for the last previous weeks, we've been just encouraging you to love every aspect of church, to love hearing more about the Bible, to love spending time together with other Christians, to um, enjoy uh, coming to church services, taking part in communion, and of course, praying together as well. Those four things are great things that we can all do when we are at church together and we can love it and we can be devoted to it just like those early Christians were. Hi everybody, have you all had a good week? What's been your favourite thing to do this week? Oh wow, that sounds great! Oh, hello, Dusty. What are you talking about? Hi, Grandma. We've just been talking about what our favourite thing this week has been. Oh, very good. What has been your favourite thing this week? Um, I think it was watching Grandad trying to control a Segway. That was pretty funny. We haven't seen that video for a while. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yes, that was funny, wasn't it? Yes, and then this week he tried to go paddle boarding, didn't he? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yes, I think he might need some lessons from Pastor Wesley, don't you? Yes, good idea, Grandma. Why is Grandad trying to do all these silly things anyway? Well, Grandma, I think he's missing church. We all can't get back to church and see people again yet, which is a shame, isn't it? Yes, I think it's going to be a wee while, isn't it, Dusty? Yes, I know, but hopefully soon we'll be back together. Never mind our favourite things about our week. What's your favourite things about church, Grandma? Oh, well, lots of things. I love singing all the worship songs, although I'm not keen on that funny-looking one. Grandma, you can't say that. Oh, you know, the one with the guitar. He's always going on about standing up and getting up off your sofa. I just want to tell him to pipe down. Every time he tells me to get up, I want to shout, Not with my back! Grandma! Well, hmm, who else is annoying? Let's see, hmm. No, Grandma, we're thinking about things we love. I really love all the teaching and preaching because I think it's really good stuff. Yes, that's true. And all of the children and youth work is just amazing. There's so many things we could say that we love about Destiny Church. What about you boys and girls? What do you love about church? Why don't you have a think while we go over to Pastor Steve and Vanessa and we'll see you really, really soon. Goodbye, everybody. Our memory verse today comes from Mark 12, verse 30, and it says this, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Now, I wonder, can we do that together? Get up on your feet. Are you ready? Mark 12, verse 30. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Well done, everybody. Now I wonder this time if I don't say the words, can you remember what they are? You shout them out. Let's do it together again. Mark 12 verse 30. Love the Lord your God with all your, with all your, with all your, and with all your. Well done everybody. Well done. I wonder if we can all learn that properly this week. You know, those are words that Jesus said. People asked him what was important and he said, this is what's most important, loving the Lord with your whole heart. That's what it means to be devoted, to love God with our whole hearts. And you know, when we love him with our whole hearts, we also will love his church. The Bible says that the church is the body of Christ. We are his family. We are family together. We are his body. We're supposed to be his hands and his feet to the world around us. How wonderful is that? You and I get to be part of the family the body of Christ and that is what it means to be part of the church.
So this week, let's think about that wonderful Bible verse, Mark 12, verse 30. Let's remember this week to love the Lord our God with our whole heart, with all our soul, with all our mind and with all our strength. Let everything that we do be part of our devotion to him. She's the craftiest lady in the whole wide world. It's time for Jackie's Craft. Good morning everyone. I hope you've had a lovely week this week. Today I thought I would show you how to make a bookmark because I really love nothing better than reading a book to be honest. And this one here is made in the shape of a little cat. So I'll show you how to make it now. Now I've made this little guy out of some pieces of card but you could make it out of sticky foam apparently uh, or also some felt or something like that anything that you've got around the house or even just some paper I think the card does give it a little bit um, more longevity though but um, if paper's what you've got use paper by all means so what you're going to need is a few shapes really so this is the main body shape so it's just a big rectangle with two of the corners cut off and then we're just going to glue it together essentially. So this is for his tail and the easiest way to describe this is it looks a bit like a candy cane. Okay and that is the only complicated shape that there is. Alright so I'm just going to put some glue on one end and stick that to the back of the uh, body of the cat. I've then got some ears and they're quite pointy because it is a cat so I've got two bigger orange ears and two smaller ears. I'm having to use blue but any colour of course. And all you want to do is put the smaller triangle inside the bigger triangle like so. And again on the second ear same thing. And then those are ready to go. And then I'm just going to glue both his ears to the top of the main body shape like so try and get them roughly the same height if you can because you know there he is then I'm just going to put some glue across for his whiskers now these are just three really thin rectangles okay and I'm just going to stick them sort of over the top of each other so he does end up with three whiskers in total like so very easy and then I am going to take my marker pen that's trying to hide from me and I'm just going to draw some eyes now I don't know about you but my cat likes to sleep a lot so I'm going to draw him with closed eyes and then a bit of a triangle nose and a little smiley mouth and for some reason, I just thought this looked a little bit better with a bow tie. Don't know why. My cat doesn't have a bow tie, but you know. It is your bookmark. You decorate it how you want, however makes you happy. And there you go. Very simple. Have a good week, everybody. And don't forget to send your videos and your photos in of whatever you've been making and doing this week. And if you do make a bookmark, why don't you tell Pastor Steve what you've been reading? Because we all have a good book. Have a good week. Bye, everyone. She's the craftiest lady in the whole wide world. It's time for Jackie's Craft. Thank you, Jackie, for another awesome craft. Kids, remember to send in your pictures of you doing crafts, of you doing your shabooms. Welcome to Destiny Children's TV. And just basically whatever you've been up to this week, send it in. We love to find out what you've been doing to steve at destinychurch.co.uk. And remember to go to destinychurch.co.uk where you'll find today's activity pack. There's our memory verse for you to colour in and help you remember that. There's always some colour in and there's always some other activities too. So head over to destinychurch.co.uk and whilst your grown-ups are there, please do ask them to pop their email address in. We'll just email you two times a week with news from Destiny. And grown-ups, guess what? You need to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Click on the bell to get more great notifications from Destiny Wakefield. And don't forget to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> We're really looking forward to seeing you all really soon. And the day is coming closer and closer when we all can be together as the church again in our building. How wonderful will that be? But for now, have a wonderful week. We love you guys and we are really looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now, Mr. Tuttle raps about donuts. 
God has given us many things to be thankful for, like pencils, shoelaces, oddly shaped potatoes. But today, I'm thankful for donut. I'm thankful for my donut. Do not put jelly in my donut. Oh no, I like my plain and simple donut. Do not put sprinkles on my donut. Donut. Donut dip in my coffee. Oh boy. Donut. Now I got a soggy donut. I like my donut. Soggy coffee donut. Coffee. Tasty sippy with my donut. That's right. Donut.